we're not on this stage just because of talent or ability. We're up here because of 4 a.m. We're up here because of two-a-days or five-a-days. We're up here because we had a dream and let nothing stand in our way. If anything tried to bring us down, we used it to make us stronger. We were never satisfied, never finished, will never be retired. My high school English teacher, Mr. Fisk, he had this beautiful quote and, he, and it read, rest at the end, not in the middle. And I took that to heart. I believe there's time for resting at the end, but for me, that time is not now. To have a dream, sacrifice for it, and never ever rest in the middle. Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable. Be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. You want to be great? You want to be the baddest motherfucker ever at what you do? You could be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. When people don't understand you anymore, you've arrived. If you haven't gotten what you want, then you're not worthy of it, period. Now you can admit that you suck and improve. Better to know you're bad for a season than pretend you're good for a lifetime. You're not making as much money as you want because you're not as good as you think you are. You're crazy until you're successful, then you're a genius. I think for a lot of people, when you know, you're know you grinding as a small channel, people think you're too obsessed, you're a weirdo, stop only making videos, like get a life, be realistic. You're, you know, I mean, people will convince you you're out of your mind for wanting to, to do this, but then once you're successful, they're like, yo, your drive, your tenacity was great, but it's like, yeah, well, where was that back then? You know what I mean? I didn't get that when I was a small channel. It's only delusional until it works. So is it really delusional? Once the world see it, there's nothing delusional about it. Now, your delusion becomes, oh, he was a fucking genius. I tell you, the harder and harder you work in here, the harder and harder it becomes to accept failure out there. Second place isn't an option anymore, guys. The more you give in here, the more you get out there. Why would you not want to give it at all? What else are you gonna do? Are you come here and kill it right now? Or stay home on the couch? You know, watching the life pass you by. What else would you be doing right now? Taking the time off? Or taking the time to get ahead? If it doesn't seem so, so easy to you, it's because you don't believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, you want to be in here killing it. Because it's giving you that much more of a chance because you believe you can come that. Because they don't believe they can ever get there. So therefore, why take the precautionary steps to sharpen and, and, you know, and hone the arsenal to really go to battle? Because they don't even want to go to battle because they know they're going to lose. How do you want to look in the mirror? Every single morning, do you want a positive reinforcement or do you want a negative one to go about your day? How do you want people to see you? A lot of times I'll be in a tourism mile run or something like that and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I start to say, what if I can pull this off? It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be. And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms. Because it makes me just like, what if? Sometimes you just got to say things just for what they are. Just for what they are. Passion, passion is free. Nobody can charge you for passion. Nobody can tell you what passion looks like. Because that's all about you. Effort, effort is isolated. The reason why effort is isolated, because nobody can dictate. Effort is 100% in the mind. No coach, no player, nobody else can make you run to the ball. Nobody else can make you finish a tackle. Nobody else can do it. That's why it's the most isolated things in this earth right now. It's effort. And when you finally figure it out, how to win real battles, it's final through fundamentals. That's what wins championships. That's what wins battles. Blocking, tackling, blocking, tackling, until they get tired. Because you don't know what tired feels like. Let's face it, it's you against you out there. When you walk on that court, you have to think I am the best guy out there. But here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Don't put on a show. Freaking win the game. Don't put on a show. You win the game. Don't put on the show. You win the game. Don't put on the show. You freaking win the game. You don't put on the show. You win. Don't let him get into your head. Don't let him take this from you. You go in there and you kick his ass, you hear me? 
You stop being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Damn, Ron, come on! What's the matter with you? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. There is no tomorrow! There is no tomorrow! There is no tomorrow! This ain't Blackjack, Vinny. This is it. This is it. You see this guy here staring back at you? Yeah. That's your toughest opponent. Every time you get into the ring, that's who you're going against. I believe that in boxing, and I do believe that in life. Let me tell you something you already know. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Anger is your biggest tool. Quite an angry that drains you twice as fast. <laughs> yeah, the guy in the ring is your enemy, but make his mistakes be his destruction. Now go out there and show me how you do things. Show me how you live. Show me how you fight. Because I want to be great. And you're not. I want to be one of the greats. You love this game. I mean, love it with your whole heart. Because if you don't, let's not even bother. Let's not open that door. They're just going to slam it right in our face. I love this game. I live this game. And there's a thousand other guys waiting in the wings who are obsessed with this game. Obsession is going to be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? Is it all you ever think about? I want you to understand the difference between a risk and a gamble. This, what we do here, this is calculated, okay? We weigh the odds, we make a choice. You see that man right there? Do you remember him? You gotta block out everything and be in the moment. Not the past, not the future, right now. You have control of this. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain, you're the master, you're the foreman, you're the general, you're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. Don't let this man control you. Don't let him control you. You got to get real doggish. Now, like I was telling you before, if you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go about your business. 